hey guys this is Machivi Maxon again and in this tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to back up your game profiles like if you play Need for Speed or Call of Duty and you wanna save and back up your profile so that when your computer crashes you can just simply uh, pull it from your hard drive or your server and just continue where you left off so I'm gonna be showing you the three methods of backing it up on your hard drive on FTP on your FTP server if you don't know what that is you can just leave that option out and then saving it on Google Drive so what you're gonna need to save it on Google Drive uh, you're gonna need to have Google Drive installed on your computer the application mine I have it installed right here as you can see and if you don't you're gonna just come to Google forward slash drive or just search drive and it will be the first link here and just click on download or just come to the website and just click on download here and choose this backup and sync and just choose download agree and download and it should download this file I'm just gonna cancel it because I have already installed it and once you launch this application it will bring up this series of like setup questions as you can see here it will just tell you downloading and then it will tell you all of your files at your fingertips you'll get here and you just click on get started uh, I just can't go through this entire process again so I just decided I show you like a slide through and it's pretty straightforward and I know you can just go through it just by reading what you want so you can choose whether the quality of the image is uploaded at its original and all that stuff and here you choose the folder that you want to sync with your with your Google Drive so I created a new folder called TMG saves uh, because I recently created a new YouTube channel for my, for my gaming I have like a few videos there are like 20 videos of just two games need for speed payback and Far Cry 5 so I'm just let me just just show you the gaming channel here so I'm just gonna come to YouTube YouTube youtube.com and I'm just gonna search for my gaming channel it's called the max out gamer so it's pretty new so I don't, I'm not even sure it will come up yeah it came up so this is the one just gonna go to it that's why I call it the TMG TMG because it stands for the max out gamer and these are the videos I have there they literally have no views yet uh, so guys if you just like gaming channels uh, I have some videos here some are commentaries some are not uh, some do have commentaries and some don't yeah so guys you can go and check it out below so uh, you can leave a cool recommendation for games there if you want me to like make more gameplays and all that stuff guys and I want to thank you again for your support guys for all the likes and the subscriptions on my channel and let's just get back to that let's just close this and I am planning on, on uploading other games and so just check it out guys that's why I like always want to save the gameplays and okay TMG saves I created a new folder named it TMG saves where I want to back it them up on my drive uh, on my Google Drive so that folder will be created on my Google Drive in my PCs then I removed sync my drive to this computer and then it just simply click it clicked start started start uh, let me just close this so you'll just walk through that and the software we're gonna be using to back up our game profiles is called game save manager game save manager and it will be the first link here it's game save uh, hyphen manager dot com and when you visit the website it's pretty simple it's a pretty simple website uh, you can donate but the program is free you just click on get it now and thank you your download will begin shortly so it will download a file a zip file uh, I'm just not gonna download it because I already have it downloaded and installed because I've been using it for a while and it has been saving my ass from then because like computers crash 
that just happens to computers so when you have a backup on your on online and your own drives uh it's just like you feel like nothing can take you down especially if games are important to you so i copied it here on my desktop guys and i'm gonna show you what i'm talking of so it's here uh so i'm just gonna right click just extract to the folder of that extract it to any folder but i just clicked here and went here to extract to gs manager the version and when you double click it and you run this application it will ask you if you want to install the program or just run it as a portable so when you do just double click choose whatever you want you can run it as a portable or install it but if you're gonna be using it long time i really recommend installing it so i installed mine and now i'm gonna be showing you how to operate it and set up your backups on ftp your drive and even on the google drive so i've opened up mine and for the first time it may ask you to update its database of games you should like update it every single time because they are reset they are currently they are like there every single time they are adding games there so that you it can support a lot of games and know where they those games are saved so exactly especially if you have new games i highly recommend that you update the database every single time it asks you to so before you go to make a backup because this is where we'll go if you want to update it's a pretty vast program you can make like backups as you play your games sync and link schedule tasks but we are not gonna go in all of that you can like, just leave a comment down below if you want me to make a follow-up video uh, that's entirely about game save manager because it's a huge pro program i'm just gonna show you the simple settings that will get you moving so we we'll got program settings and here you can choose the files it's associated it associates with uh this is where we're going to go for cloud options and we could look into other options like in a different video because i would like have to explain every single like options in these settings so just leave a comment down below if you're interested so cloud options i chose enable google drive so you just choose that one i used to upload to my ftp server so if you want to upload to your ftp server you just check this like the downside of this you just can't update you just can't upload twice you can just can't upload to two online online cloud drives simultaneously you have to choose one either ftp microsoft drive dropbox but you must have all of these installed on your computer as an application for this to work so the ftp you don't need to install anything on your computer you just need to install your info and for me these are the informations i use yeah for my web design company so i just use my my server for that uh yeah i know it kind of feels like responsible using my web design company these servers to host my profile game files yeah but it's it's just pretty cool to know that you've backed up like everywhere you can so i'm just going to enable google drive for now i'm just going to leave out ftp let's go to google drive and check that it will have a folder here backups and stuff i just deleted it so that it just installs in the in the folder i chose tmg saves that i chose to sync with my google drive so now i'm just gonna go uh, once you check this uh, these are the settings you could just look through them and just check whatever you can and choose your preferred settings or just leave a comment down below and i'll make a follow-up video dang it i hate it when that happens so let me just go back to main main to main menu and gameplay backup we're just gonna leave all of these but we could look the, into them because they are pretty cool as well so just come to make a backup and it will ask you to rescan your computer every time you run because if you don't scan it, it will it will not have like the last played games but all of my games have been like i haven't played them the last time i scanned them is the like the last time i play them so i don't need to rescan but you would need to rescan i'm just gonna click no and it will automatically choose battlefield because it's the one i've been playing and back uh, and backing up but i recently like finished the campaign uh, i already finished all of these games like a month ago injustice 2 far cry 5 
need for speed payback so I'm just gonna choose what should I choose here let me choose injustice let me just choose injustice too yeah it was an awesome game I really finished the campaign in about two days or one and a half days so I'm just gonna click on start the backup and as you can see injustice to file backup injustice to up data yeah file backup location and as you can see output defined does d tmg saves we've organized into subfolders so it must be uploaded to my google drives to my google drive as we speak right now and it should also be saved on my local drive let me say file backup yes this creating separate backup archives yeah and i think i must have defined like a default location to where they save my my local drives into my local drive so i'm sorry about the gate noises guys like people are leaving neighbors are leaving for work because it's like almost 7 a.m here uh let me see where I said like my local files backup settings update behavior cloud preferences I think it could be that it's not saving on my on my drive at all it's just like simply saving on to that drive let me first open this come here to ssd tmg saves and as you can see it's here in justice too and the profile has been saved here but i highly doubt it saved it on my other folder where i used to save them let me first open a new link and see tmg game saves injustice 2 and yeah it's not safe just as i thought so when you choose to save on google drive it will just simply save it on your google drive and that will just be on your computer and and your google drive as well so to back it up on also your local drive you'll just have to come to your shared google drive folder ssd tmg saves here and just copy it onto your local computer anywhere you want i'm just going to copy it on the desktop and now you have it on your desktop as well so to confirm that it's up on your google drive i'm just going to open up mine and show you that it's there drive my drive i have it here open i'm going to come to pc my comp my computers and as you can see tmg saves is here when i double click injustice 2 is here and it wasn't here before guys as you can see it's just like it has only been created like a few minutes ago injustice 2 let me just say uh, as you can see opened by me as you can see just like about now yeah my time is wrong here i don't know why just keeps on doing that yeah this is the file we just created and uploaded as you can see created 6 57 a.m so that's for you to save on your google drive and if you want to save on ftp you just click on ftp and i'm gonna save my battlefield 4 onto ftp i have selected ftp when i come back here to injustice 2 i just click on let me just pick up uh, battlefield 4 as well injustice as well let me just click on backup so it's gonna ask me where i want to save my local my local games so i'm just gonna come here yeah as you can see the folder i will just choose a folder and it will back up it will back up on my local drive now it's uploading file to ftp server and if your server is running fine fine there should be no errors at, at all files should like operation completed without error yeah and as you can see the task backup the, the backup task has completed 
thankfully no no errors were detected so if you see that you'll know that your files are uploaded and you can check your ftp server to confirm with that so this video i've gotten has gotten dramatically long so i'm just gonna stop it here guys and if you want like further details on like uh a, like another tutorial completely on the game save manager so that we can get deep into its settings and what it can do for you as like a gaming enthusiast or like a, if you run a gaming channel you'd really need this program and so guys thank you guys for watching leave a comment down below if like i misstepped because this video was so long and i know guys i was fast so you can leave a comment down below i'll be helping you out guys leave a comment of how to you want to see me do uh leave leave like suggestions for future videos or anything i could like change in my videos and subscribe if you haven't like the channel like the video sorry and i'll just catch you guys in the next one